and uh, do a video recording of what you are paying attention to if you want to do that. Uh, be sure to have someone document your accomplishments or what you came up with. We'll give you a five minute warning at the end so you have time to identify what are three, four, five, six, seven key insights and state them clearly and any actions or implications coming out of this. Uh, you can feel free to stay or leave at any point. Uh, if you decide to leave, you should remember to leave the breakout, not the whole call. And for certain, don't end the call for everybody because that will be chaotic. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, if we're going to try this. I'm going to set up the rooms. And then what I want everybody to do is to join the room called lobby. Okay, that'll see, because if you can do that, then you can move to another room, all right? So I'm going to open the rooms, and I want you to join the room called Lobby. How do we join? We click on? You go to the breakout room icon on your screen, either top or bottom, and then click on that. It'll give you choices, and you'll see your name, and then you just go to Lobby. Breakout room. Where, where okay. is the breakout room? Do we do it now? Do we check, click? Yes. <laughs> Where did we get A's? Oh, oh. <laughs> they're coming. Here they come. <laughs> Hi, Jan. Hello. No, Jan Ames. So oh, now, Jan Ames. We, now we can Hi, choose Jan another Ames. breakout room. Just slow down, Sherwood. Slow down. <laughs> Okay, I lost it. Here comes people. Still waiting on 15 people. Mm. We're 30 or so. Maybe they don't know where to find their the breakout room. It's down on. Yeah, can you go back to my cup? They're not there. <laughs> I'm okay. in breakout. Play, I, I have, break a, I have right. four squares on the bottom of my screen, and it says I clicked on lobby, but I'm. Yeah, we're all in lobby. There's eleven of I'm us not, in lobby. I'm not. Yeah, eleven are in lobby. There are eleven in lobby already. Lobby. Okay. How do you get in lobby? You click you on lobby. Right on the it's at the bottom of your screen. You click on your join. Screen. You click on join and click on yes after you click on join. I don't have that now. Larry Choosing. is uh, Larry is working with our colleagues to get them here. So okay. Okay. enjoy the freedom of the lobby for a minute. <laughs> Let's uh, all go to the lobby. I would I'm in a is that a breakout room? But like Jan and I are in the same one. And Dawn, oh, she's gone now. No, Dawn's here. I'm oh. here. <laughs> I'm under Barrett. No, Joyce Bonfield of Pierce is under me. I'm, all, I'm, I'm on top all and you're under me. Lobby. Everybody's in different order. Yeah. And Louie's at the beach. <laughs> Louie, what are you doing at the beach, honey? Well, I just flew out. <laughs> We're waiting on nine people here. Okay, choose a breakout room. So that now we go to a breakout room? Can we choose it now? It's okay. I guess we can't wait another minute for our colleagues. We just want to move on ahead here. Okay. What's, <laughs> which one is the, which one is the way? You, see way. That, you see that the, uh, the breakout rooms have names like Ellie Grassroots Partnership, Doug Global Education, Dawn Revisiting, Barrett Participate in Global econo Economics, Jan and Alfreda, Old Orid. And there's I eight, nine I don't see that ten. anywhere. Pardon? I don't see that list anywhere. Do you have the no. list of the breakout rooms in front of you? No. No, no. no. go down to the chair. bottom. No, we, all, yeah. we all went to the lobby and we're waiting. So. Okay. Yeah. The, the chat. Now I have in the chat, I have these things. No. no. Just go to breakout rooms again. Okay. Re click. Uh, go, to, uh, go to the little four squares at the bottom of your screen next right. to record. 
Yeah. Okay. And, and click on that. Yeah. Jan, can we go to our group, Jan? No, okay. we haven't gone yet. It looks like everybody has got this far. Yeah. Yep. So far. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Then the next step would be you saw how you did that. Yeah. yeah. All right. Now, if you want to go join another room, yeah. you can either find that room and click join next to it, or you may have to down in the lower right hand corner click leave room, and then you'll go, then you'll be able to go back and go. I don't know which one will work. Well, do we go like I have all of, all the rooms listed over in chat? No. <laughs> Don't worry no. about the chat. No, no, no. You can't click yeah, on no, them. No, it's in the no. breakout rooms. The breakout are, rooms are under breakout rooms. rooms. Yes. That's it's a little back. icon. Choose go a back to the breakout room, room icon. icon. Choose a breakout room, and I get to this list in the lobby, the lobby list. No, go down no. further. Go There's down further. Scroll down. Other rooms. <laughs> oh, ah, uh, okay. Yeah, Barrett, ah. I checked there, and you oh. were not there yet. Not where? Your breakout. And then you you choose the breakout, and then you got to click yes, join that one. Over on the right, you coming, have to turn. Not you have to up. Clicks. Put your. You have to go to the right. I. I oh, there it is. All right. Make so sure go you, ahead. You uh, once you're in the lobby, go ahead anything. and. Once you're in the lobby, go ahead and uh, go to your next room. And uh, Larry or I will be here to help those who get lost. Now, do we pick one, uh, like I, I now have two people in the room. Do I say join then? Yes, you say join. Then you will go there. And she Which did. one is the guild? Larry, which one is the guild? Uh, Dawn revisiting. Dawn revisiting? Yeah, Dawn's, uh -huh. not there. Dawn's not there yet, but she'll be there I'm in a second. Yeah. Okay. I just found myself. <laughs> Yay. This is I one of the I still haven't found myself. Pieces. All right, Linda. I, I, I still can't get into Ellie. And I tried right, to so, leave room. Right. Okay, Jack, I'm moving you to Ellie. Thank you. Would you move me to Jan? I will move you to Jan. Would you move me to Jan and Alfreda, please? Move me to Jan. Next to Ellen's name in Barrett's group, it says Ellen Rebstock not joined. What does that mean? That means she hasn't gotten there yet. But I'll go back to the lobby and see if she's still. I mean, I'll go back to the main room. Judy, and we check go, where and do see you want to go? Where do I want to go? No, Judy Weagle. Um, I thought I had joined Dawn. David, where Jim, do you want to go? Jim, I'm going to go uh, check the main room. Yeah, and then Alfreda's group, I guess. Unless. Ellen's not, I don't know where Ellen's going to be. Click to go there, David. Click yes. Did you get there, David?
Hi, Jim. How's it going? Good. This is the nice thing about open space. Now we can go take a nap or whatever. <laughs> Uh, yeah, ex yeah. Except we used up so much time. So apparently, I, I was thinking if I shared my screen, people could see my uh, breakout room window open. But apparently, that didn't happen. Uh, yeah, they don't. Uh, well, they should. No, they don't, because they see the Zoom screen. They don't. They don't actually see, and they see. They don't see the breakout. So the only way you can do that is what you originally were doing which is sharing your whole screen and then make sure that's on the top of your screen, then they can see everything. But the, for some reason, your word was taking, uh, had authority for that at that moment. So what are so you right saying? Now, right now I see 2020, what looks like a, the girl from the, uh, the movie right. about the parents. Yeah, but you don't see uh, the breakout. That's all I see. Thing. That's all I see is her face in 2020. So Dawn crashed out. I admit readmitted her back in. Well, that's nice of you. But one of the issues right now is this does not when i'm in a breakout room it doesn't seem to let me see that if there's somebody in the waiting room well i can keep an eye on the waiting room so how much time do they have um, according to the clock 12 minutes left plus two or something 12 minutes plus two Okay. And I don't know how to make it longer, but we went too long. I screwed up and went too long on the procedures part. Uh, well, the easy way to make it longer is you just don't close them. <laughs> when it when it gets to the end of twelve minutes, it'll say you really want to close these rooms, and you just don't. You say no, and then it it'll let you go as long as you want, and then you say yes, and then your two minute time starts. Whatever you say, yes. So you, we can extend a couple minutes if we want, uh, but we are I, uh, relative to our overall time, we may not want to. But I had an interesting dynamic happen this morning because my two screens got a divorce while I was working. <laughs> So my mouse wouldn't go between the two screens. Oh, that's cool. And I never had that happen before. So that's why I had to restart my system. That's why you look a little younger than last time. <laughs> anyway, I really do appreciate this study. I've been having a good time. I've been able to be in more of it than I thought I would. So. Yes, thank you for that. What are you drinking? Coffee. Iced coffee. Oh, okay. I start my day with a glass of water and a glass of coffee and then decide after that what else to drink. But So I have no idea say, how to get them to write their reports. Uh, well, the easiest thing is we just go to each room and say, is somebody taking notes? Or we type in the message box for the breakouts broadcast. Make sure someone is taking a few notes. Wow, there's a beautiful blue. Window at the top. That's exciting. What's that? I said there was a little blue thing that showed up in the top that said, Larry Philbrook said, make sure to take notes. Yeah, it's at the bottom of your breakout room space, setup space is a broadcast message to yeah. all space. So when you extend time or whatever, you can always, you can say it there. 
say I've added five minutes to our time or whatever. Judy Lindblad and Mylon Hamilton are in room two for some reason. Well, uh, we can check to see if they're there by intent <laughs> or if they got there and don't know how to get out. Other than that, I'll go look. Oh, hi, Jim. Y'all are doing good? Well, we're, we're having a good conversation. We just started on on the issues we wanted to talk about. We don't know where Ellie. We're looking for Ellie. Yeah, we, we tried oh. to find Ellie's uh, group, and here we are. So, do you want to keep going? You want to go to her group? Yes. Which? Well, I think we should. Would like to go to her group. Yeah. Well, let's tune in. Okay. Thank you. 
all back together? Do y'all need another five minutes? Yeah, yeah. Right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. That wouldn't hurt. Do we have to rejoin each one? That took 20. <laughs> yes, practice. 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 Well, you, you just send us back, I think. Yeah, I think. Uh -oh. we don't have or do we ball. have to do we have to self select? You got to you start you got to start the breakouts again. We don't have the logo. Yeah, we yeah, have the logos logo. there. I, I, yeah. Okay. 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 If Jim yeah. opens the rooms again, you should have the opportunity to go right back it, to your same room. It says join. Uh, it, it opens the rooms yeah. again. They are now open, so you should be able to go back to the I same room. I have this room thing saying join room three. So say yes. Oh. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> hey, Louie. Yeah, I'm trying to get into my breakout room, but it just says uh, join that room one. So say yes. No, then they're just say in, yes. They're in the wrong. They're all in the wrong rooms. Uh, I'm gonna go to room one. They there's they're asking for help. <laughs> I love what it. Are, what are you doing here, <laughs> Weagle? Okay. So just just so everybody understands, what happened is we went back to the original check-in groups <laughs> okay. from today. That's how that's how you ended up in a surprising group. Oh, there's Ellen. Okay, Ellen and I were <laughs> off somewhere for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I, I was I was with we David. We don't have the we don't have the breakout logo in the bottom of our screen yeah. anymore. Yes, we didn't have the you, we didn't set it up with you having choices. It went back to the original setup on the first meeting. Hi, so Tom. <laughs> Zoom has an, has its own creativity on these things. I, I got a message from Zoom. It says you will never be allowed to use breakout rooms again. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> And Evelyn is is muted and she's trying to get our attention. Yes, oh, Evelyn. can I be? I'm the recorder in Team Eight, and I need to get back there. <laughs> just make a report. <laughs> Larry, oh, can you just send us to breakout rooms? Okay, right now for 42 seconds, we can't do anything except smile and look pretty. Oh, okay, okay. good. I will All drink right. water. When you, when you when you close the breakout rooms, there's an automatic whatever the automatic wait time is. You wait. So oh, right that's now why we have it's automatic. We have hey, 28, 26 seconds before anybody can do anything. Hey, Alfreda, did you bring the Alfreda? Did you bring the wine? <laughs> I didn't bring the wine. I should have. We need it. It's coming in from some other part of the globe. <laughs> <laughs> Coming in from uh, Europe. That's what, we're all back. I lost my group. 
That's why we're here. We're here. That's you are. Where did you guys go to? I ended up in another group. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I, what, I, had a great, just, I had a great time with your time wife, out. Jim. Time out, everybody. Let me tell you what happened so you understand. Well, when when we hit reopen groups, when we hit reopen groups, you all went back to your original check-in group from today. No, we, you didn't go to the no. you didn't go to the self-created group. No, it wasn't the same people. Not, not necessarily. No, that wasn't true. Okay, so you, anyway, you went to you went to eight. You went to eight recreated groups by zoom <laughs> <laughs> and we had a good time so jim if, what's your plan jim you got a plan no, no we were all in a different country and we were yeah. trying to figure out where to go <laughs> jim you got a plan for what you want to do now <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go in the other room and drink. That's right. yeah. <laughs> no, let's, uh, let's try this. Let's try this share screen again. It worked last time. <laughs> and uh, let's just hey. start with uh, right. the people that were with Barrett. That was Elsa and me. All right. Can you, uh, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Go ahead, Barrett. Okay. Well, um, uh, that that we just have to find ways to um, buy and sell from the rest of the world. America is can, can we have enough oomph here that we can isolate ourselves? Um, it says that it's it be our internal market is big enough that we we yeah that we can just sort of wall ourselves off from the world and what we need to do is find ways to buy and sell to the rest of the world um and it brings up that that the trans-pacific partnership that trump abandoned that we need to get back and get every get other countries involved and forge ahead i'm complete elsa do you have something uh, no, that's good. I, you know, trying to figure out how to make sure that the world is the economy, the, the interconnectedness that people mm -hmm. can buy goods and mm -hmm. that we can also supply goods. I think even though the U.S. have a huge market, we don't have all the resources yes. right. for manufacturing. That's why yes. we didn't get enough supply when we were looking for PPEs, we yeah. had to wait. We'll mm. make it ourselves. That's good. Yeah, we can make it ourselves. But what happened is until the 70s, manufacturing was in, the con in this country. After that, most of the manufacturing facilities in this country closed and was brought outside yes. to, bring, to, bring them, to bring those back in we need to retrofit our manufacturing and are we willing to do that? Is that where we need to go? Yeah, right. Just it makes sense. Well, and it provided jobs for a huge section of the population um, that we don't have that anymore. Mm. This was the first book I read that helped me to see why it's economically not feasible to bring these this kind of manufacturing back, yeah. Um, yeah, you could do it, but it would be at a loss, you know, financial big loss to do it. Yeah, but that's also the other question that I that the West provides the capital, and then the rest of the world produce uh, pro provide the labor, yeah. which means that we are creating a perpetual poverty in other parts of the world because the West dictates how much are we willing to pay for whatever it is we want. Yes. Mm -hmm. so yes. Uh, so and to raise living standards, you have to buy and sell on a broader scale. Mm. That's good. So let's move Thank to you, the Eddie. yellow group, Ellie Stocks group. Uh, okay. Give us a report. All right. We just started out talking about 
global partnerships, uh, grassroots partnerships. I was giving the example between partnerships between uh -huh. grassroots groups and the US and Peru that I've worked with for the last 20 years. And then others were talking about partnerships or at least work in India and then here in the US and California, Cincinnati, uh, Colorado. Um, but there are issues that globalization creates in terms of uh, destruction of the land. Um, and that happens through corporations, corporations work and also even the, the free trade treaties like the TPP, one of the big glitches in that and NAFTA and CAFTA and all the others is this state investor uh, clause, which says corporations basically are more powerful than government states or communities and that they can mm -hmm. sue communities or states or governments when they feel their profits are being undermined. Um, but underneath all of that, in terms of the, how do you do economic development sustainably uh, related to the environment has to do with being grounded in a spirituality that grounds us in the land and the water and the air, uh, whether that's through a community, a, uh, a watershed or an ecosystem a group uh, or area, but it's the grounding that makes your economic development true and it, true, and it's also that which gives you the courage uh, to work together as a community and do the advocacy that's needed to uh, defend the, the the work of the defend the the, the land. Somebody else can say something. Yeah, Ellie, we, we, we continued on you without you and uh, sorry. <laughs> No, it's okay. No, what, what we what we got did was was the indigenous wisdom. Yes. Yeah. And and that that uh, the the world is needs the indigenous people perhaps more than anything else around oh. to uh, to understand the spirit uh, relationship that you have to nature and uh, and caring for it because you're an integral part of it. And uh, that the indigenous peoples are communicating. This is addition. I, I've, I've heard that the indigenous people are already in communication with one another, and they don't do it through Zoom. And uh, that the uh, the spirit is is uh, now uh, decisionally awakened within the much of the primal community or the, the indigenous communities that have always been quiet but now they know they have to speak and they are. And uh, the symbol of having an indigenous person in the cabinet and the thing is, is a powerful symbol that that's the direction that we need to go. Uh, so we really saw the local mm -hmm. as key with a spiritual mm -hmm. dimension in a universal uh, understanding of life. So One example of that is a movie, The Condor and the Eagle, which connects indigenous people in South America and Central America with groups like Standing Rock and other places right. and, and the mythology where when the condor and eagle come together, then it's going to be a new earth, <laughs> like a new yeah, heaven and new earth kind of thing. Yeah, it's the time. And that's and my point. To, they are speaking together. to each other. They're working together. They're communicating yes. in, by spirit. And people may think this is just woo-woo shit, yeah. but it's not. <laughs> They, they are communicating with one another and saying it's time for us to emerge. Yeah. Because the, yeah. the planet needs us. Just time for the seventh generation. The other just, uh, just, just a word there. Uh, this is being recorded, so let's be careful what language we use here. Oh, I think it's appropriate. Uh, let's go on and hear the Global Education Report. Um. We started with talking, uh, really the focused in on the question of if you were going to design a curriculum uh, for college students uh, that would allow them to be successful in uh, a time of globalization, uh, what would it need to focus on? And I recounted a little bit of my experience um, uh, early on uh, based on Thomas uh, Friedman's uh, book, The Flat World. Uh, where we actually created a, a, a joint curriculum for Europe and the U.S. around ideas of globalization. And culture was an important part of that. 
And so we had a real long, a big conversation on um, what, you know, what would be the cultural um, focus of the curriculum? And um, uh, one of the comments I thought was a good one that I've also thought about and used was the global odyssey was a good model uh, for, uh, uh, for what we would really want to have happen to people. Uh, so uh, the focus of the curriculum should be on profound humanness. Um, there's a spiral dynamics, uh, which Jean uh, Watts can tell you more about. I know a little bit about it. It was in the Nepal conference. Uh, we had the cooks, I think it was, or there was a, a couple in the, the, uh, that were working on that. Uh, but mm -hmm. basically, really, you have an in-depth model of culture and development uh, that would be uh, of the focus of your, your uh, curriculum. Another source was The Theory of Everything by Ken Wilber. Um, that is a, another approach to a, a developmental framework, a second uh, uh, kind of integral vision. Uh, but a focus on, and then a focus on human rights and environmental sustainability. And I, I can tell you in the, in the curriculum that we developed, we had a grant from the European Union and the Department of Education for a million and a half dollars for a dual degree program. Uh, and and it, uh, it was interesting because when you got Swedish and French students in, the focus on environmental sustainability um, they had thought this through in depth in terms of how do you do accounting for environmental sustainability that is part of your accounting model uh, right. when you're involved in, in, uh, in an educational or in an, in an economic uh, venture. Mm -hmm. And so there's something about when you do a global curriculum that involves uh, educational institutions from around the globe, you automatically start bringing in perspectives uh, that force you over against the depth human uh, cultural issues, as well as the global sustainability and other kinds of things that, that people are concerned in. Um, anyway, we, we all got kind of excited and reflected on our own uh, global education uh, as a result of being in the villages around the world. All right, let's go on to uh, the guild conversation with Dawn. Larry told me he got the uh, nine collections, and there they are, of the uh, archives or the Social Research Center, SRC. Can you make it bigger? Bigger? Yeah. The, no. theory, the theory I'm proposing to put into action is for folks to put their bodies on the line and plug into these nine collections as in guild formation for the task of bringing globalization alive as they be the regionalists. And they would uh, be out to put into writing by phoning or networking guilds that would influence planning input output to imaginally impact public opinion, like letters to the editor, phone banking, virtual panels, papers, uh, articles, and uh, disseminate the word or the message into public policy via social media. And examples of this would be like the, the PAC, the, re, the ex-Republican PAC called the Lincoln Project, put together videos that swayed people's opinion away from allegiance to the Republican Party. Uh, to have that kind of clout is needed to recast uh, the future of this nation in a more equitable uh, constitutional <laughs> and uh, revolutionary and structural way of reformulation. And I thought of uh, Shelly Hahn is in a, uh, Doris Hahn's daughter, is in a writing group in Bloomington, Indiana. She's been there for years and they get together and write, write, write. And I'm imagining that they also do publishing. Well, we do publishing too, but it could be swayed oh, yeah. towards uh, the th political dimension of, of uh, recasting 
the the uh, the future of this nation in a way that grassroots are involved and uh, more inclusive, diverse voices are heard uh, across the land. And what we would be proposing, I guess, is to be kind of like an umbrella for uh, human development and a political voice and clout in the nation to sway public opinion. Right. Any questions? Is the guild a viable structure for? So uh, Don, I, maybe I can just uh, link uh, this concept of guilds to the to local green teams that are forming. And, um, you know, in, in Denver, we've been working on the neighborhood level, but um, so that's the lo local, the localis. And if you think of um, Denver and Colorado as the regionalis, then the nation and the globe is the globalis. So you got those three dynamics going on. And uh, people have banged into the futility of only local action. You know, it's like, how many gardens can we put in our neighborhood? Well, uh, is that going to make a difference on carbon footprint or not? Yes, but it's still small. So linking uh, the work uh, through, through uh, the local green teams, linking that work to uh, city and state policies is, is sort of the direction that you're talking about there with uh, lobbying and letters and panels and so forth uh, and, you know, reaching up. So, so just the image of uh, neighborhood local green teams connecting to each other horizontally and then connecting upward toward policy and global issues. Uh, so doing both of those jobs is the challenge that, that needs to be figured out. I'm well, the, Thank well, you. the uh, just a second, uh, Jim. The uh, the social research center is already networking with other networks, and how you bring uh, into focus the dynamic of the regionalis uh, as an umbrella for net networks that are already. Uh, like-minded as ourselves, uh, you, you will find them um, across the globe and in the local uh, situation. Thank and, you. Good, yeah. yeah, what wouldn't it have been amazing if we had the internet when we did town meetings and human development projects? <laughs> Yeah, we we networked by going to India for a conference, but uh, <laughs> amazing what you know the transformation that the electronic tools can lend to local engagement. Yes, yes, and 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 diver trouble. diversity, diversity and inclusion is the key. I'm mm -hmm. having difficulty capturing all these insights, so we'll leave the uh, we'll leave the board up so that uh, so that folks could go in and add some of these insights. And let's hear from our fifth group, the regular old style ORID conversation. <laughs> Thank you. Um, we, we had a, a lively conversation focused uh, up on the right hand corner of the um, mural is a, the questions that we, we had developed. We wanted you to have those. And um, then if you can go, yeah, there they are. And uh, bigger, bigger. Yeah. Well, yeah. you can make it bigger yourself, I think, right? No, no, okay. no. Oh, because we're screen sharing. Oh, if I you're see. on okay. the board, you can, but you okay. can if you. So that's, that was, that's one flow through. Now, if you can drop down, who's ever coordinating the board, there's a little picture. Thank you, Don, for introducing that concept last time. A uh, little drawing, it's a hand-drawn one. Down further. There it is, there it is. I ah. can put my finger, yeah, okay. There, okay. Okay, 
So this part of what he was doing in this chapter was laying out the flow, the development, the growth of globalization. Hmm. Going from, uh, and at the beginning of that thing on the left is the date 1492. Now that should raise some issues right away in terms of globalization. Mm. Yeah. And um, what, what was going on in 1492 and the outcome. And then yeah. he, the next kind of piece he talks about is the interconnected world. At the end uh, of the 1890s was, he talked about incredible globalization, connection, uh, new inventions, etc. And then some folks decided to have another experiment, which was called World War I. Mm -hmm. and the collapse of empires, the depression. And so that went on for about 50 years. Mm -hmm. Underneath that was a continued globalization. And then you come right up to where it says independence. So there are folks, you know, uh, trying to take us, uh, come back to the independent. Will it work, will it not? It, it's kind of like a rock in the middle of uh, a stream. The water just flows over. <laughs> Uh, COVID was another one of those pieces that raised questions about the independence. Uh, do we do our own manufacturing, mask, et cetera, vaccines? Mm -hmm. And he has some good thoughts there about that. Um, and then the last towards the end is the ever after. Will globalization, many times in our group, we talked about uh, what well, we have to have this. It has to go on. Well, yes, we think so. Uh, or will we? Will we kill it again? Will we stop it? Will real politics? Mm -hmm. And I know was Martin put in uh, what's happening on the borders of China and India. You know, will we keep holding this? So that's that's that flow in the middle there. He talked about globalization: easy to hate, convenient to target, impossible to stop. And I think a whole piece of this, Paul and I continued, we did find each other afterwards. Part of it is how do we do a critique of globalization? It has created many pains. It's not only easy to hate, it's I would add some bullets there. It has created pain. It can mm -hmm. continue to create the white, the white um, or the sense of privilege of the haves and have nots. That has not been, you know, some people being raised up but the whole, question that we need to keep our eye on where is the money flowing and he he mentioned that and then what is the cultural dynamics of globalization uh what's the story as paul talked about the story uh perhaps what we need in that uh final question is a mature globalization what would that look like or last time he talked about also the where, where the equality you know, and the equality with the land, uh, but that that good critique. Um, okay, awesome. I think I'm complete. Wow. Anybody else from that group? Wow. Yeah, maybe I could add just a, a word there uh, too. I Carlton Stock. I'm. I was in that group. Um, seems like we we really got prepared those of us any of us who are connected with the institute over all these decades it just seems like we the need there is a a global a governance we've talked about this before I'm, i know but we need a some kind of global governance rather than just a collection of sovereign nations we need we need we, we're getting a global economy it seems like the global economy is already there but we still have sovereign nations that can overrule everything they could pull back america first and all that and thirdly of course in the triangle diverse cultures and respecting those that diversity mm -hmm. those are three things coming out of that that triangle that we've all seen that for me are important for the future thank you i'm sorry thank respecting you. what the diversity. The diversity. diversity. Thank you. Diversity of the cultures. All the cultures. They're all equal. It's like we talk about an ecology. We need an ecology of cultures. Oh. Mm -hmm. Like globalization is either a continuation of the doctor discovery uh, on steroids, manifest destiny on steroids globally, 
it, it's it, it's a uh, it's schizoid or it's um, the organic connection of people, and it's going in both directions. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. you know, in in Canada, manifest destiny uh, that what you're talking about the papables are still the legal basis of law. Correct. Everything goes back to that still. Same here, which, in the states. which says that indigenous people are not human, basically. Right. Mm -hmm. And that the governments can take over land without yes. any recourse. Um, yep. yep. I'd like to add uh, to uh, our report uh, something that occurred to me before and, and dropped through the, the cracks uh, that uh, uh, imaginal education uh, collection would uh, infuse the other eight collections on the social research centers chart with images that uh, would impact consciousness and concern. This, uh, mm -hmm. this book is focused on a very specific structure uh, for our time of globalization. And if you'll recall, it has three factors. It's based on a free market approach, uh, theoretically free market approach. It's based on uh, American power mm -hmm. and it's based on uh, the information revolution. Mm -hmm. the, the one that happened, uh, the, the surge that happened at the end of the 19th century and the beginning of the 20th had a different structure to it. Mm -hmm. So he's being very specific and raises the question toward the end of this chapter, whether this very specific structure that's freighted globalization over the most of our lifetimes uh, will continue. And he goes deep into that in this next chapter. And I'd like Mylon Hamilton maybe to say a brief word about next week. Okay. Okay. Good segue. Nice segue, Jim. Okay. <laughs> yeah. uh, but I, I don't know if we can go back to the mural, but but I, I put my uh, chart of next uh, next yeah. week uh, lesson nine on the, on the mural, and uh, I, I'm imaging this as a, a little more uh, less frenetic and and simpler conversation next week. Um, Th thanks, Jim, for putting lesson nine in a nice uh, color for me. So uh, the, the, the basis of next week, uh, I'm imaging as just uh, th this uh, chart. And um, I'm assuming that you, you all can read the chapter for yourselves. So some of the verbiage in, in this chart is divided into, into six sections. And um, so, some of it comes directly from the chapter, and some of it is is my uh, way of uh, uh, distorting it. <clears throat> but uh, interpreting, yeah. interpreting. The, the numbers at the bottom are from my my iPad uh, page numbers, so you you may not need to pay any attention to the page numbers. <clears throat> but those are the six sections that I identified from the book and um, my thought is that if we can divide in next week into six uh, breakout groups uh, during this week uh, anyone who wants to weigh in on the, on the wall uh, put up images uh, poetry uh, uh, mm -hmm. from any of those uh, themes um, f feel free to do so and uh, uh, the, the questions at the bottom are, are the main things I wanted us to take off from, uh, but but they're just they're just suggestions. So my thought is we get into six groups and and kind of each group will uh, try try to in some way start with those questions and take off and come back with a conversation and then then my my uh, thought was at, at coming back together. Uh, that that we uh, each each group will uh, share uh, 
basically what, what went on in the conversation. And then the big question I'm uh, thinking about is, is uh, what's missing? So uh, what, what, what was it? What was what's missing? What's missing? Yeah. What, is, uh, what is missing? But what, what has he, what has he missed? What, what is, what is, it's yeah. not necessarily that he's off track, but, but what has you, he left out? Um, you know the answer to that, don't you? Well, I have my. Oh, that's, yeah. <laughs> okay. So I, I do. I mean, anyway, I, I don't do. want us to. I don't want us to okay. weigh in on it and answer it now. But okay, because it, it sure as hell is missing. That was. <laughs> <laughs> so Thank that, you. that's pretty much. That's it. Opinion. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Shane. Thank you. Namaste. And uh, uh, Don, Don, do you still want to do this quick ritual? Oh, yes. Why not? Do we have time? Yeah. How about these are the times we are the people with a two hand, two finger beat on the table or desk. Find the beat. Now do it to your heart, Wakanda style from the Black Panther. Do it to your heart with your right hand and two fingers. See, you can hear it and it doesn't echo. These are the times. We, we are, are the, the people. people. These are the times. We, we are, are the, the people. people. <laughs> These are the times. We, we are, are the people. people. I heard identical people in there too. <laughs> 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 With the echo. <laughs> so we've replicated ourselves. That, that ritual was pulled into being uh, at the first Black Academy that uh, George West gurued mm as part of the staff. And he just came out and asked us to do a beat on the table with two fingers. And then he said, these are the times. And out of the blue, we all said, we are the people. Yeah. Ah, thank you. These are the times. We these are, are the, the people. people. These are the times. We, we are, are the, the people. people. Hallelujah. All right. <laughs> Good night. Thank you all. Good night. Good night. Nice. Thank, Thank you, everybody. Good night. Thank you. Thanks, Jen. Thanks, Thanks Larry. Yep. Thank, Thank you all. all. Thanks. Thank you all. Thank you, all. Thank you Thanks, folks. See you. See you, Drucken Millers. Be well. Have a good week. Stay safe. Yeah. See you, Jack. Yeah. See you, Paul. See you, Paul. Noah. See, see you, you, Larry. Really. Hey, great to see you, Barrett. Hey, hey Barrett. Thank you. Thank hey, you, Larry. Larry. Thank you, Larry. Anytime. <laughs> hey, Doug and Pat. Hey, Paul. Hey. Good to see Good you. To thank you very much. Good, Good to see you. <laughs> Good Good to man. See you. <laughs> Joyce, I was still being banging around with your words from the last session that as a bridge to this section when you talked about <laughs> having uh, connections between the three dynamics. Hmm. It doesn't let me it doesn't let me come out get out. That's all right. You can stay. I've got a cut. <laughs> Good to see you, Phil Brooks. Say hi to China for me, huh? And I just <laughs> I just gave not, out free to the answer for a few to the more what's months. missing. <laughs> uh, Joyce and uh, Louis. Yes. Yeah. We went through Buford four times today. You oh did. My gosh. That's my hometown. We had to go to Mankato twice, so it was coming and going. You know? That's because you missed it each time. You had to go back. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I had to look at my speedometer to slow down, and by the time I looked at it, it was too late. <laughs> if you took yeah. two breaths, I'm going to set, up, I'm gonna set up two breakout groups, one for the minister group and one for the rest Yeah, of the I think we should. I think that's yeah. So that hey, would be a, very good. And they can then really communicate with each other. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, <laughs> smart ass. Where Louie is. Hey, Jack. Okay, smart ass. <laughs> hey, Larry Philbrook. Where are you? Larry. I'm in Taipei, Taiwan. 
Oh my God. About yes. 15, about 15 feet away from Evelyn. <laughs> Hey, Jack, us guys over 80, we're just a couple of old, you know what? You betcha. <laughs> you betcha. We tell it like it is. <laughs> and it betcha. still smells really good. <laughs> it's called a honey wagon. <laughs> uh, I love it. You I guys love it. are gross. <laughs> hey, Come on down it. again. Yeah, Drunk Doug, Miller, it. it would be fun to do a Zoom session with you and the Red Sox. And... Do, you guys, do you guys have your shots? Do you have your vaccine? Friday. Yeah. First one, first one. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you're getting it next. And Doug gets his this week. I get my second one next week. So. I got it in Minneapolis, and she gets to go to Wasika. Uh -huh. uh -huh. OK. <laughs> Louie, you come on down now. Don, how, how about you? In Minneapolis. Don, to. I got my first one already. Go Saturday for the second. Good, good. Last time I saw there. you, Jack, you were smoking yeah. the biggest. You were smoking the biggest cigars. Uh, I got, I got a couple left. If you want one, <laughs> I'd smoke on it. <laughs> Just have to there come you. down to Liddy Boom, right? You betcha. You <laughs> betcha. Wow, this is the place to be. Oh, I know. The we globe. Did, we we oh. visited down there, and it was magnificent. Oh. Yeah, well, we usually uh, use this time to reflect a little bit on the session and get our ducks in a row for next week. Bye bye. So if you all want to join in on that, <laughs> that'd be great. If you don't, be quiet. <laughs> I, I have to go to work. To, I have to go to work tomorrow. We just anyway. <laughs> Did Mylan get the memo? Which memo? Um, we're going to discuss nine. next week. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. He did. But they haven't met yet. <laughs> kind of kick it around for a pre preview. Who made the chart? I thought Mylan made the chart. Of he, the did. Six. he did. He did. Yeah, okay. he did. That's where I said they were, you know, missing big time. Mm hmm I, I'm afraid I have to leave because I have another meeting. Right. Um, but it seemed to we survived, so it's good. <laughs> yeah, we made it. <laughs> and, and, and as Milo uh, said, next week he wants to keep it less frenetic. I don't know that we can do that, but <laughs> six teams definitely are uh, structurally it's easier. You know, you, I, I had a thought during this one. Um, because this is just a lot of fun. It really is. I mean, you know what I mean? Um, you get a little taste of this, a little taste of that, and you hear back and, and you get in a working group, but you don't have enough time to really work stuff through in depth. Um, and then you're back in the big, but, um, but it really gets you going. And if there was a way to then, for people, maybe just for people that wanted to, follow up, whether it was in your breakout group you were in or one you heard a report from that just fired your rockets, right? And you want to do some more work with a few people that there could be uh, some kind of follow-up midweek. Um, voluntary Zoom would just, if anybody wants to do it. Um, I used to, in my doctoral program, we used a, a platform called Blackboard where we would have big meetings like this. This is before Zoom. Uh, big meetings like this. And then during the week, groups of three or four people would meet up about a subtopic, like we had the subtopics tonight. And you could really work with it. You could read, say like uh, somebody kept talking about Ken Wilber's book or uh, what was the other book? Um, anyway. Uh, you know, you might do a little reading and then come together and and put your ideas together, or you might make an agreement to everybody bring two, three ideas that you've really thought more about, just for your little subgroup. And then That's... the following week, if you wanted to, you could bring any of that back to the big group as part of the early part of it. A breakout, breakout. 
when we do the GFM training, what we do is have the practice groups do that. And so they go and have a 90 minute practice as a sub practice team with feedback. And then okay. they can, that way they're only looking to coordinate four or five people's schedules rather than 15. Yeah. yeah. And, but it allows deeper practice and deeper debriefing and stuff. And then any yeah. of the faculty that can make it come, but, um, Anyway, I need to go. The, the simple answer to that is that's perfectly in open space. As part of our closing, we would simply ask that question. If anybody has a gathering or whatever, and you just make a new marketplace available, and uh -huh. anybody, who, anybody who has something to put up can, and you okay. operate with the same guidelines, which means yeah. if, they, if nobody else wants your topic, you can still do your topic. And then you share the next week where whatever it is on the you just let people know it's available mm -hmm. okay. all right take care everybody i will Have talk to you day. next week thank you